Hey, it's your boy DJ Wolf. You know, uh, I get to thinking about something today. I was finding out that uh, I was talking to my son earlier, and we talked about how you know people are in our community and stuff. Man, some people don't want they don't have a problem with you talking about positive stuff. But when it comes to stuff talking about stuff that they need to do to to, to, to do better to better themselves, they get mad. They don't want to hear the truth about it. They don't want the reality. They don't want to, to, to deal with what you really need to be dealing with. And that's part of our problem. Our communities, you know, a lot of times we're we're in a bubble, we're in a holding pattern where you, you want to be always praised and admired. But you never want to deal with the reality of the pitfalls of the stuff you need to be addressing to yourself and your community. In other words, you want to cherry pick the things you want to hear. And I've gotten to a point myself, and I'm going to be honest, and I hate to say it, but but if you ain't down for the right causes around me, I don't want to be around you at all. I don't want no part of you, period. And, and that's just real talk. And it's not because I don't like you. But I don't want you to be part of a, a process that will bring down <clears throat> all the hard work and years and toil that I had to deal with to get where I'm at today. And if it means cutting you off, I will. And I have done. You know, whenever I talk, you know, like I give example. I talked to somebody a few years ago about, you know, my Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson was saying, talking about making changes in his life for better for himself and his family. And I, I admire him for it. And then some niggas, oh, the nigga got soft and all this shit, man. You crazy as hell, man. That motherfucker, he, he whack, he whack. Like, really? Really, dude? Really? This is a guy who actually made, you know, who strived to make improvements on himself and his life for himself and his family. And you talking about he whack. But you actually try to say, I was right for saying that shit. Like, you gotta be out your damn mind. He's trying not to get back to the beltway. And, you know, I just, 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 you know, thought, really, he wanted Mike Tyson to be the old Mike Tyson. I'm like, hey, Mike Tyson had to evolve for himself, man. It was part of what he was doing that kind of was the reason he did what he did that got him, you know, to where he, he was. And he's trying to go back to where he needs to be. You know, and my thing is, I'm glad he's doing what he needs to do for himself and his family. You know, but some people want to be in the holding pattern, which you should never evolve. You know, at some point in your life, you may have to do that for the sake of yourself and your family. You know, and my thing is, <clears throat> hey, if you ain't about the business of, of trying to do better. I ain't about the business of, of, of hanging out with you. you know I don't want wretchedness in my life I don't want that kind of bullshit in my life I don't want and I'll be honest with you if if you about the bullshit and you ain't about the reality of trying to uh, get yourself together right with yourself and your family you know if you about making babies all day around everywhere and not taking responsibility why do I want to fuck with you you know you ain't the kind of person I want to be around because you be too dependent of me and not allowing them kids to be dependent of you. You know? I don't want that kind of shit around me. You know? And I don't have no problem saying that. People, I know people that I, I've been told, right, you think you're too good? No, no. I don't think I'm too good. I want to be around my people. I want to be there for my people. But my people got to be there for themselves as well. You know? I hear people talking about, you got to uplift. No, you can uplift yourself. You know, I, let me tell you about let me tell you a backstory about me. All right, I was growing up. All right, my you know, I, I had issues, family issues at home, and my family wasn't always uplifting me about stuff. They would man, I was getting dull at times, many times. You know, and. I got to a point over the years I had to uplift myself because I was getting dulled out. My old man was like telling me, look, look you know, and, well, these other kids doing this and you ain't doing that and blah, 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 you know, and 
I'm like, to the point, you know, I'm going to show you. I'm going to do, do for myself. I ain't going to worry about, you know, what you think I can do or whatever and put me down. Fuck that. You know? In our communities, man, we always want people to, to you know, to constantly uplift you, uplift you, uplift. You got, at some point, you got to uplift your damn self. You got to stand up for yourself and say, you know, I ain't going to let this get me down. So, I'm, you know, I ain't going to let, you know, what, what's going on in my community control what I do for myself and not worry about what people think if I think that I'm better than somebody because I want to do better for myself and my family that's the problem you too busy worry about what everybody else think about what you ain't capable of doing for yourself and you gotta get out that mentality we have to get out that fucking mentality real talk because if not, that's going to be the very thing that's going to bring you down. It's going to be the very thing that keep you down. Real talk. But we're too busy worrying about what other people think all the time. Instead of what you need to be doing. That's the our number one biggest problem. You know? All the time. Always have been for a long time. Damn that shit. Damn that shit. You know, if anything, this is the kind of stuff that keep us down. Yeah, you worry about, well, this guy, these people saying that black people do this and our women do that. Yeah, our women do do that. You know, our women sit there and get ratchet on us. But we ain't supposed to call that out. We supposed to say they are queens. Yeah, I'm not, I mean, I'm going to be honest with, with you. And like I said this before, and I'm going to say it again. A queen is someone or a woman who not only just protect her children, but she going to do all the right things she, she can to take care of her children. And she going to just let any type of guy come between her and the kids other than the baby daddy. Y'all won't talk about that though. No. Nah, you won't bring it up. But if somebody who you uh, assume ain't from the hood, because I am from the hood, but you know, I know people who say, right, you don't know nothing about that. Well, I know a lot about it. You know, then you got a problem with them talking about it. You know, my I was talking about a while back. Uh, a couple of years ago, guy was preferring our, our our sisters as fertility queens, and I said our black women are, are more than just fertility queens. You know, you got women like that, but that ain't that's not, you know. And I defended our sisters, and those some of the same sisters who was online dog me out for saying that. I could not believe it. I said, so you saying he's right? You know, it's just we just cherry pick, and we're delusional. I'm being serious. You know, because the first, because and, and, and we we get butt hurt and butt sensitive about stuff, because no one can have an opinion about anything. It's like our community has to have one opinion go one way. We can't be the first. we always want diversity among other races, but we can't have diversity among ourselves with our own opinions and, and you know and and and, 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 and foresights and insights into different things. No, we ain't supposed to do that. No. That, that, and that to me that's a problem that's a big 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 problem to me because you're saying that we all have to agree on everything you know I don't agree with everything uh, Tommy says about a lot of stuff but he's right about a lot of stuff you know I don't agree with everything uh, uh, Yvette Carnell say but she write about some stuff herself you know, I don't agree everything. Uh, well, I agree with you. May not agree with a lot of things of our show say, but he's right about a lot of stuff. You know, the thing of it is, when it comes to YouTube, we all have our own opinions, and include myself. But the problem is, you got those the mentality with a slave buck mentality. Of people who says you only supposed to be entitled to one type of opinion, 
and that's don't 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 talk about black people. You know, don't talk about us. We've been talked down all our lives. No, no one's trying to talk down to you. I don't think most of them are trying to talk down to you. That's just my take on it. And I'm definitely not trying to talk down to you. I'm trying to talk, tell you. And to me, it what I'm doing is trying to uplift you. I'm trying to tell you. Some of us need to stop that bullshit, stop that ratchetness, and wake up. You know, take responsibilities as men as well as women for your responsibilities. If you can lay it down, you can pay it down. You know what I'm saying? Seriously, that goes for men and women. You know, and for the women who, 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 who know, you got you got to learn. We got to teach you. Got to teach your daughters. Not to be laying down with Tom, Dick, and Harry, you wouldn't get stuck with all these damn kids. And for the guys, you got to teach your, your your sons not to try to, you know, get every girl pregnant. You got to have some responsibility. You got to wrap that thing up, you know? There's something called a condom. Condom's not guaranteed to uh, not break, but you did. But I can tell you from her firsthand experience, at least one thing for certain, you are responsible enough to, to keep from getting a girl pregnant if you wear one versus when you don't wear one, you know, and make sure you flush that mug down the toilet, you know, but that's another whole story. Stupid ass people around here, man. They just want to drive as fast as they want to and they want to drive as close to you as possible because they, 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 they well, that's not a story. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is <clears throat> responsibility lies on those who lay down. You know, and we need to be the ones to stop trying to live like you're 20 years old when you're 40 and stop living like you're 10 and acting like you're 10 when you're 20 and grow up. That's basically what I'm saying. This is DJ Wolf. That's all I got to say. Of course, as always, questions or comments. For all to hear at gmail.com, for all to hear on YouTube, for all to hear on Twitter, DJ Wolf Live on Facebook, and DJ Wolf Online at yahoo.com for all of your comments. What is this fucking fool doing? I'm doing almost seven miles out. You act like a total bitch on the fucking road.